King Xi. Uh, my Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. My Lords, the Office for Students informed the Department for Education on the 11th of November that it has decided to open an investigation into whether the University of Sussex has met its obligations on academic freedom and freedom of speech. No academic should have to fear for their personal safety, particularly as a consequence of expressing lawful views. This incident demonstrates why this government is pressing ahead with, leg ahead with legislation to promote and defend freedom of speech on campuses. Lord Hunt of King's Heath. Well, my Lords, I welcome that answer. Professor Stock, a distinguished academic at Sussex University, essentially said your biological sex cannot be changed by feelings of identity. Now, for quite unexceptional remarks, she has been vilified uh, by colleagues, abused by students, unsupported by a union, and really let down by a university who are far too late to defend her. And other academics, my lords, in many other universities are facing similar abuse, particularly women facing similar abuse for basically gender critical views. Now, my lords, the noble baroness refers to the forthcoming legislation, but does she agree, however much legislation you have, you need to have confidence in our universities to show some strength in defending their academics? Yeah. My lords, what is the government going to do about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the noble lord is absolutely right to uh, uh, condemn the abuse that many academics, particularly women, uh, have suffered recently. Uh, the government is clear that almost any, lawful res any restriction of lawful speech and academic freedom goes against the fundamental principles of English higher education. The new Higher Education Freedom of Speech Bill will strengthen existing freedom of speech duties and will address the gaps that exist within the uh, current law, including the lack of a clear enforcement mechanism. And that 